Morning everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I've made it out to Hadby Castle for, on a very cold morning in January for a dawn shoot. Um, absolutely fantastic scenes. There's no cloud in the sky. You've got that little bit of dawn haze on the horizon, so hopefully working out to be a really interesting shoot. I haven't been to this location for a sunrise shoot for over a year. Last time I was here was uh, November 2018 for a dawn shoot. And it's really surprising because it's not that far from my home. But um, today's conditions are the ones, are the type of conditions I've been waiting for. For when obviously you've got that clear horizon and you obviously can get that lovely colours of the dawn. So hopefully today should be a really good shoot. So let's go. So I've got the uh, first image set up here and um, I've taken a composition similar in the past and really enjoyed it but that was about sort of uh, five ten meters in that direction um, and I did really like that composition but what I felt it lacked was some foreground interest so with that in mind, what I've done is I've come back a little bit into some of the ruins of the buildings of the interior of the castle here and positioned the camera really low down to the ground. Um, I've got the central common extended slightly because what I wanted to do is get some of the walls or the remainder of the walls here in the foreground and then with one of the walls leading up to the actual main turret of the t uh, castle ruins that are still here and then obviously off into the uh, distance where the sun is going to be rising. So because the uh, walls are really close I needed to do a focus stack for this one so I've gone f 5.6 ISO 100 and then taken an exposure for the foreground focus on that and take an exposure for the foreground focus then again onto the main turret at f 5.6 and again obviously taking another exposure and then obviously uh, then exposed for the sky as well so I've got the three sets of images two of them are focus stack and then obviously I've got the one for getting the highlights in for the sky as well because there is a huge dynamic range here this morning where the, the side I'm at looking at the obviously walls is in shadow compared to obviously the direction where the Sun is rising um, yeah you need to obviously be that little bit creative and uh, make sure you've got all of those exposures so when you go back to post-processing you you are at least able to then pull out all the detail and uh, work out to be a good nice balanced image so hopefully uh, first image here already um, yeah working out really good I, I can't this is the kind of thing that I wanted with that sort of leading line of the ruins of the walls will hopefully work out to lift that image that little bit better but now I need to get a cup of coffee So the sun is just breaking the horizon now, which is absolutely fantastic. This is the magic point of the day. Um, 
I absolutely love this time of day. But I've kept the same composition, playing around with the f-stop and the exposure as well. Going for f7.1, ISO 100, and then doing a manual bracket of the image um, and the exposure. So exposing for the foreground, taking that image, and then exposing for the highlights, of obviously the rising sun as well. So working out to be fantastic. And just now, just in a moment or two, as the sun's just completely above the horizon, that's that's the type of image that I really want to capture. So let's just set the camera back up again, wake it back up. Making sure it's just in the exposure. That's it. Where we haven't got any cloud today, you're not getting any of that reflected light. So, um, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I prefer that you actually get the sunrise than being a full bank, bank of cloud. But um, yeah, it's absolutely lovely, absolutely fantastic. Really cold, but looking at the sun rising, that really does warm you up. This is another composition that I really had in mind. It's um, fantastic because of having that clear skies this morning, the light that's obviously rising behind me is casting this lovely golden light over the lone tree here at Hadley Castle. Us photographers love a lone tree or something that we can isolate. And again, I'm using the sort of same principles that I used on my other composition. By coming into some of the ruins, getting down low, and using that as some foreground interest up to the main subject, which is obviously the tree, and then the lovely colors that we sort of get in at dawn. Um, working out to be really interesting. One of the uh, main walls that's here, part, or part of it that's left here, uh, is catching some lovely golden light um, and fantastic. I think this scene is actually only going to get better because of as the sun is rising it's going to create that lovely golden light across the actual scene and highlighting more and more of the foreground and picking out the stronger details within the mid to background as well um, yeah I mean even now just talking to you after taking the image the actual light on the tree is uh, is absolutely fantastic so I need to capture that, it's, uh, it's fantastic. So the settings for the camera I've got is it's on f11, ISO 100 and 1 13th of a second as the exposure. Because it's quite balanced and I'm obviously with the light behind me casting it, there's not too many shadows that are being created. So I don't feel like I need to bracket or take a second exposure for the dynamic range. It's looking quite a nice sort of lovely colours throughout the whole image. So again, sort of working that within post-processing as well. Uh, when I obviously take it into the raw program, I think I might well increase the temperature excuse me, of the actual image as well, because, yeah, just making sure you're bringing out those warm tones, because it's definitely ain't warm today.
For the final composition, I've come back round to the other side of that lone tree um, where we're getting fantastic side light and lovely golden light as well, uh, creating a fantastic scene. So coming down the bank a little bit as well and angling the camera up as you can see, uh, creating a lovely image. So I've got a little crest of the hill in front of me, then some of the ruins of the main wall here and then obviously the lone tree at the same time and they're lovely golden and light on it is absolutely fantastic. So the settings for the camera for this one is f11, ISO 100, 120th of a second as I'm making sure on the histogram that I'm balancing the image as best I can but slightly I want to go slightly underexposed for this one because it's about getting that contrast and that detail out of this image I don't necessarily want the highlights too bright um, yeah that sort of uh, light and dark is kind of what I want with this image so working out to be a fantastic uh, composition for this one so yeah, it's all about the lights for this image and where the sun is shining, fantastic clear skies, working out to be a really incredible image. So it's been a great morning coming out here to Hadley Castle. Um, the weather conditions are absolutely fantastic. And I think it's coming to this location actually paid uh, off in the end. There was a couple of locations that I was considering for this morning's shoot. Um, uh, but I'm really pleased that I've actually come here and the thing that I, is sort of tipped it in that favour because of the foreground interest that I'm able to pick up uh, with obviously the ruins of the walls that I've done in most of my images today um, if I would have gone to another location which was Old Lee uh, just down the road from here uh, taking some of the pictures of the boats in, in, in and around the surroundings there. Yeah, that would have been fantastic, I think. However, it possibly would have lacked that uh, initial foreground interest. And um, as the sun was rising today, picking out, obviously, and highlighting different parts of the ruins on the walls, working out to be really interesting. So, uh, yeah, really happy that I've made it out here. Hopefully, if you enjoyed viewing the images today, please make sure you give us a comment and a like if you do enjoy this video. But Thanks a lot for watching and until next time, take care.